so my name is Dina Herman and I'm a nutritionist. I'm a community nutritionist and I do work in the area of uh, dietary quality and life course. People should try eating more fruits and vegetables because they really have all the vitamins and minerals that we need but also important things like phytonutrients which we know have huge health benefits and uh, all of us could do better in the area of health. So today I talked about um, the basics of nutrition and why it's important is because we all like to eat and it's good if we kind of have a better sense of what it is we're supposed to eat, how much we're supposed to eat, and why we're supposed to eat it. Um, I did a demo today in class of how to make a smoothie, a fruit smoothie, and one of the important things about that smoothie was really to summarize everything I spoke about today, which was not only the structure and function of different molecules of nutrition, but how those pull together to uh, make a certain kind of a texture, and also the fact that the smoothie was a summary in the sense that it had all the nutrients that I spoke about, so the carbohydrates, fats, and protein, as well as the vitamins, minerals, and phytonutrients, which are so important for our health. So the smoothie had um, different fruits in it. it um, I put in berries, which have high phytonutrient, um, high phytonutrient uh, values, which are oftentimes associated with antioxidants, so they're protective for our health. Um, I put in bananas, which have uh, potassium. It's good fruit if you want to uh, recover after, a, after exercise. My running teacher used to say, cool down or eat a banana. So the banana was in there for cooling down purposes from the class. And then I put in tofu, which is my secret ingredient. Um, I like to put tofu in smoothies because not only is it a great source of protein, but for those people who are aspiring to be vegetarians, um, it's a, a good source of phytonutrients as well, and it, um, it's very inexpensive. So if you don't have a lot of money to spend on protein for those consumers, uh, you get a great protein source and uh, keep you going all day long. One thing that really fascinates me right now is looking at the microbiome, which is how um, different, um, for example, I talked about fiber today, FOS, and how that affects our gut health and our gut bacteria. Because we understand today that a lot of what happens in intestinal health also affects our health over the long term, um, and tip, particularly in terms of cardiovascular and other um, chronic diseases. For those people who do exercise, um, I use some apple juice in my uh, smoothie also. And apple juice and apples in particular have pectin. And so if you want to rehydrate quicker, after running or after doing any kind of exercise, it's great to put a little bit of apple juice in your water. And if that water is sparkling water, it also has some minerals in it, so it's a great combination, and I recommend that.